God told the Jews at Sinai to build a temple so that his presence could dwell among them, a place to worship, to gather as a nation, to receive atonement, inspiration, and instruction. Half a millennium later, God's desired location for a permanent home was revealed to King David in the ancient city of Jerusalem, atop a hillside known during Abrahamic times as Mount Maria. David's son, King Solomon, completed a magnificent structure that attracted the title Beit Hamikdash and Beit Hapira. It was fashioned with much gold, expensive woods, and precious materials. When it was completed in 827 BCE, the nation gathered to witness God's presence fill the temple. The mountain gained a new name, Har Habayat. At its summit, a stone building rose to enormous height. Within its gaping entrance was the Ulong, a lobby, beyond which was the Kodesh, furnished with three golden items, an altar for incense, a seven-branched menorah, and a table with racks for the showbread. At the sanctuary's far end, a separated area enclosed the temple's core, its most sacred location, the Kodesh Hakdashim, that held the Aron, the Ark of God, containing the tablets that Moses delivered at Sinai. The Ark of God rested upon a naturally protruding plateau known as the Foundation Rock. Immediately outside the building, the courtyard of the Kohanim, priests, held a massive stone sacrificial altar with a lengthy access ramp. Nearby was the Kior, a cistern for rinsing hands and feet and a platform for the Levites to chant psalms and play instruments. Further back, a larger area was designed for public assembly, known as the Woman's Courtyard. It included an extensive wooden balcony for women. The nation would gather three times each year to celebrate the festivals of Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot. The compound was surrounded by a massive wall and contained a series of steps, numerous gateways and guard posts, the temple's layout was exceptionally efficient, with compartments and chambers for every possible need, such as storage areas for wood, oil, and other materials, production and preparation areas, rooms for clothing, for weaponry in case of attack, ritual immersion pools, sleeping and eating areas, tool and instrument reserves, lockers for the priests, a charity room, a hall for Torah study, a chamber for the Sanhedrin, a lounge for temple officials, a repair workshop, animal holdings, ticket stations, and so on. There were separate entrances for distinct purposes, an oversight system, and honor guards. A small stream ran beneath the temple, which was used to maintain cleanliness. The temple stood for four centuries. It was destroyed by the Babylonian army in 423 BCE, rebuilt in 349 BCE, and stood for four centuries more until it was destroyed by the Romans in 69 of the Common Era. Through his prophets, God promised the Jews a third and eternal temple in the Messianic Era, from which his presence will spread to the world, embracing all of humanity.